Proxmox VE uses Linux networking stack. I will clarify all the concepts that what exactly is networking in Proxmox in various environments. In this section of the videos, we will be covering standard networking. And then in next section, we will be covering the software defined network or STN. So let us continue. This is the web user interface of Proxmox virtual environment. In this particular installation, I have single Proxmox node. So here is the Proxmox node. And at data center level, the software defined network is at data center level. I will show you all of that, how the software defined network works. Inside software defined network, there is local network available. So we will be configuring only local network now, and then we will be configuring the software defined network. Where is this local network available? Local network will be available in all the Proxmox nodes. If you have multiple Proxmox nodes, all the nodes will be having their own local network setting. So when you make any changes to local network, it will be individual for the node. When I do the configuration at the data center level, maybe in the software defined network, that setting will be applied to all the nodes within the data center. So right now there is only one node, so it will be applied. Even I can expand this and I can show you here local network is available here also. So this local network will show me how many virtual networks are there right now you can see this is virtual network which is only one virtual network within the local network of the proxmox node follow my mouse pointer i am here on the proxmox node and inside node if i go into local network in local network you can see here this is the virtual network and how we can configure this if i click on the proxmox node this is the hardware node actually inside this these are all the settings so in system, you can see the details related to network. You can see rela details related to the DNS configuration. You can see details related to the host configuration and other options will also be available like wake on LAN and so on, time of the system and all the logs. So we will be looking at the system and inside system, we'll be only clicking on network. There is a DNS also that we will also look at. We will look at these options here. So first of all, in network, if you see, you will see here VMBR and you will see here ENP2S0. ENP2S0, this is the physical network device. This is the LAN card of the network. If I show you here, the physical network card in the Proxmox is represented as EN. EN means Ethernet, and with Ethernet, P means port 2. Ethernet port 2, port 2, and its slot is 0. So if it is on board, it will be named like this. So this is the physical network card. So network cable is connected here. So this network card is of course inside the Proxmox virtual environment. So of course it is connected through a physical switch right now. And that physical switch is again connected to the internet service provider, which is giving me IP address of 192.168.100.0 slash 24. This is the network right now. And from this, I am connected here and physically I have not assigned any IP address to this. So this particular network interface card, which you can see in the Proxmox virtual environment, this is the physical network interface card. When we installed it automatically configured that in a way that the IP address is not directly assigned to this. The IP address is assigned to the virtual bridge, which is connected directly to this particular interface internally. So it is called vmbr0 so by default when i configured so it became vmbr0 and to this vmbr0 the ip address is assigned 192.168.100.5 and it is on the network of slash 24 where the gateway is 192.168.100.1 so, so this is how it is connected so this is vmbr virtual bridge and virtual bridge is connected to the physical network interface card and that physical network interface card is right now here. So if I show you this configuration in the Proxmox virtual environment, VMBR0, this is IP address, which is configured here, 192.168.100.5, and the gateway is 192.168.100.1. So how it is connected? This is physically connected to this network. In fact, I have two networks on my LAN. This is directly connected to the internet gateway to secure my network, to make sure that my network is protected against the external attacks. I have the firewall also configured, which is PFSense.
but I am connecting this to uh, 10.11.12.1. I have all my laptops and desktops connected to this particular switch. And this is behind the firewall and van port of the PFSense is connected to this one and LAN port is connected to this switch. And currently my laptop is temporarily connected here on this particular gateway so that I'm able to communicate with the Proxmox. Now you can see this is the, on the same network. My laptop is right now on the same network 192.168.100.24. That's why I'm able to communicate here. But I want to bring this Proxmox virtual environment to this network so that it remains behind the firewall also and I'm also able to communicate with this. First of all, we will change the IP address of this. How to change the IP address of the Proxmox virtual environment if you have already configured it? It could be because of various reasons. It could be either if you want to change the network configuration, it could be because you want to change the management IP and keep it uh, private. And it could be because of change of the network devices or anything. In my case, as you can see that I had connected earlier to a network which was exposed to the public. Now I want to bring it to the local network or a, another private network. I need to change the IP address of this. So how I'll do that? Let me show you again. I will go back here to the Proxmox virtual environment now and I will double click on the VMBR0. As I mentioned that this VMBR0 is connected to the physical port here. VMBR0, this is connected to physical network device here. And this one is having VMBR0 is having in fact the IP address 192.168.100.5 slash 24. So what I'll do, I will just click on this. And when you double click this, you will see here that this particular Linux bridge is linked to the physical port here, which is ENP20. You can see here, this one is connected to ENP0 physical port. Now I will be changing the IP address simply. I will just change it on this particular range, which is 10.11.12.40 I will make it 10.11.12.40 and slash 24 bit and the gateway will be 10.11.12.1 which is the IP address of the PFSense. If I click this you will see here this is the configuration that will be updated now you can see here current configuration is this you can see here it will be minus from here and this will be plus. It means that this configuration will be removed and this configuration will be added. So I will be able to now access using the new IP. But let me apply the changes first. Apply configuration and yes. And once it is applied, I will show you in the CLI also or command line user interface. Now it is of course not loading because the IP address has been changed. But I won't be able to access if I try to access with now your new IP 10.11.12.40, it is not giving me any response. The reason is because the physical cable is connected to this network. I need to remove this physical cable from here and I need to connect it here to this network. So I will connect my laptop also to this particular network. I will just mention here, this is my laptop from where I'm recording right now. And I will be connecting this also to this network now, which is 10.11.12.1. And I will be connecting the physical cable of VMBR0 to this network. Let me do that. So I will come back to you. All right. So physically, I have connected the cable now. So if I try to access this uh, now, 10.11.12.40, you can see here now I'm able to connect because I'm on the same network right now. And my laptop or my Proxmox virtual environment is even protected now. It is behind the firewall. Of course, in firewall section, I have explained in detail how the Proxmox firewall is working at the data center level, at the node level, and at the virtual machine and container level. So we will be now looking at the network section again. And here we have seen how to change the IP address. And now with the new IP address, I'm here. Two things that you need to make the changes is that you need to change the DNS also. So in DNS right now, you can see that there is old DNS which is configured. So I will double click here and I will change it to the new DNS. Because if I try to open anything, if I go to shell, for example, ping google.com, 
it will not give me any response the reason is because the dns is not configured so if you get this problem where you are trying to ping or you are trying to update even if i try to do apt update suppose apt update temporary failure so it could not resolve the dns so that's why we will go back again to the dns and we will change the ip address 10.11.12.1 so you can change the dns also to 1.1.1.1 which is cloudflare dns in case you want to communicate through external dns or you can also do the google dns which is 8.8.8.8 .8 but i will be using my local dns which is again 10.11.12.1 12.1 because in firewall i have configured that i shall be able to use this dns only so i am changing it now you will see here it will update just now now if i go here and in shell if i try to ping now google.com and if i try to do apt update which is to update the proxmox one package is available for update so i was telling you about networking that we have with the single network interface card we have configured one vmbr and through this bridge now so if i show you again the diagram now all the virtual machines that i will create here or all the containers that i create here they will be of course able to get the ip address from the dhcp server which is this one from the pf sense or whatever gateway you are having if the dhcp is configured and they will get the dns and internet and everything from here so if i take you back to the proxmox tutorial and i'll show you here for example this is one server one we will be only working at server one right now if you see here in the networking of the container if i click the networking of container if i double click here in the net you will see here vmbr0 which is this one vmbr0 it is getting the ip address from dhcp if i go to the console of the container click on console if i check the ip address ip a so you can see here 10.11.12.153 it has got the ip address from dhcp and you see here i mentioned here 10.11.12.1 is the ip address of this so the network address is of course at this particular lan the network address is 10.11.12.0 slash 24 and the uh, dhcp range is again 10.11.12.150 to 10.11.12.1 200 so it could be anything depending upon how you have configured your network so that way it will be working so i'm not uh, going to explain you that in this one but here we are just going to cover how the networking works so it is automatically getting the dhcp ip address and it is able to communicate with the network and if i try to ping from my local computer here you can see i'll just stop the existing ping 10.11.12.153 so you will see here i'm getting the response so which means that from this particular configuration i have created one virtual machine here which has the ip address through dhcp and that is that has got 10.11.12.153 or whatever so through dhcp this ip address is provided as it is connected to vmbr0 vmbr0 is connected to the physical network interface card that physical network interface card is connected to this network and that's why i'm able to get the response 